Now, you know, our goal here with Visual Studio Code from the very outset has been to be open. Uh, it runs on any platform, you know, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, it supports developing apps using any language or any technology, as you saw. And one of the things uh, I'm really excited to announce today is we're going to take that open approach one step further uh, by officially releasing the source code of Visual Studio Code as open source as well. And we really think, you know, as you saw already from some of the demos, this is really going to enable a much broader community of developers uh, to be able to contribute to VS Code, to be able to leverage VS Code, and to be able to tune VS Code to work great for literally every community of developers and every developer ecosystem out there. Uh, and what I'd like to do, uh, since now that we've announced our intent to officially open source it, is uh, actually invite Eric Gama, who's been uh, led the engineering and architecture team from the beginning with VS Code, to actually officially make it open source live on GitHub in front of your eyes here. So here's, here's Eric. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. I'm really happy to be here for this very special moment for our team. So I'm here on the Microsoft VS Code uh, GitHub repository page, on the settings page. I'll dive down into the danger zone, and I make this repository public by just confirming it and understand what this means. You can all view it, and even more important, you can all contribute it from now on. Okay. So today we're not opening up just uh, the core of VS Studio Code. We also open up some extensions, and you saw there are already some interesting ones in the gallery. What I want to show you now as a sneak peek of what you can do with our extension API is an example of an extension for programming with Go. Go is system programming language from, from Google. Let's quickly do that. I switch to code. I have here a, a, a Go application. I navigate to some code here. And I do, and you can see we have the same for Go as we have for, for TypeScript for, for Go. What's behind that is the Go community has already many tools to analyze the Go um, language, right? So what we did is we used our language extension API and integrated the Go tools in code to give you that rich experience. But we didn't stop at the editing experience, right? What we did is we went further and also enabled debugging because the code extension API also inclu includes debugging support. So I set a breakpoint, I press F5, Debugging start, breakpoint gets hit, I can step through code, as Anders has shown before, hover over values, as you expect from a debugger. Okay, so that's just a sneak peek. Uh, I hope when you go home, you try it out yourself, write an extension, it's fun, happy coding. Great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>